Happy learning! Today we have a question about the B coordinates. Let B be these four vectors, and you could show pretty easily that these four vectors form a basis for R4, right? You could show that by showing they're linearly independent since there's four of them. Part A says find a vector V such that the B coordinate vector for V is the vector 3, 0, negative 2, negative 1. And part B says let W be the vector negative 12, 13, 12, negative 9. Find the B coordinates of W. Okay, so these are two types of questions that you could be asked about B coordinate vectors. So for A, we know that the B coordinates for V is this vector. Another way to say that is V is equal to 3 times the first vector in our basis. So 3v1 plus 0 b2 plus well negative 2 b3, so minus 2 b3, and then minus 1 b4. Okay, so that gives us that v is the vector 5, 10, negative 14, 4. Okay, so it's really easy to go from a B coordinate vector back to the vector. It's just how much we scale each of the basis vectors by. Okay, and now let's try to reverse this. So we know that W is this vector. We want to find the B coordinates for W. So what's that saying? It's saying that some number, we'll call it X1 times our first basis vector plus X2 times our second basis vector, plus x3 times our third basis vector, plus x4 times our fourth basis vector is equal to w. We want to solve this system, uh, well, this vector equation. Okay, and so we could do that by writing out an augmented matrix where the first four columns are the basis vectors, and then the rightmost column is w, and then we'll row reduce. So that matrix will look like this. 3, 2, 0, 1, negative 1, 2, 5, 0, 0, 1, 7, negative 2, 4, negative 6, 0, 3, and then we put the vertical line, and then we do the vector w, which is negative 12, 13, 12, negative 9. Okay, and then we're gonna row reduce into reduce row echelon form. And this will help us get our B vector for W. And so when that row reduces, it row reduces to this. One, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. And then the right column is negative one, 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 negative two, okay? And so from here, we know that W is equal to negative 1 times B1 plus 1 times B2 plus 1 times B3 minus 2 B4. Another way to say that is that the B coordinates for W is the vector negative 1, 1, 1, negative 2. And that's it. So not too bad. Let me know what you thought. And uh, yeah, good luck studying for whatever linear algebra class you're in. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.